The BET Awards 2024 nominees are out. And as usual, I'm going to be looking out for what Africa has to offer on this list. And it's looking pretty interesting for Africa for sure. Let's go through the nominees and I'm going to make my predictions for what the outcome possibly could be. The BET Awards 2024 will air live on Sunday, June 30th, which is about six weeks away. So buckle up. This is the no BS version. Let's take a look at the BET site itself with the title being Drake tops the list of nominees for BET Awards 2024 with seven nods. Now, this is going to be an interesting conversation because I don't know if uh, Kendrick Lamar is on this list too, but I think somebody has to bring it up considering what's been happening uh, with the back and forth beef and diss tracks and everything else. So interesting to see, but I doubt. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into the list itself. Here's the complete list of nominees for BET Awards 2024, Album of the Year. This doesn't surprise me that there's no African act here anyway, so I'm not even going to talk about it, but there's some heavy hitters. Yo, Chris Brown, Usher, Victoria Monet, Killer Mike, oh, he got a Grammy, Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday, Drake himself. That's going to be interesting. On that list, I don't know. It's just a matter of uh, liking somebody more than anything. And I think probably, ooh, I'll go with Asha coming home. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep going. Best female R&B pop artist, Beyonce, Coco Jones, Doja Cat, her money long, SZA, and guess who? Tyler, South Africa. Hey, 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 Victoria Monet. If I'm going to be honest, it's 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 going to be very hard for Tyler to walk away with this one. Very hard. Because when you look at like Scissor's album was... Woof, woof, it was something else. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Scissor. I, I don't think Tyler is going to get this one, to be honest. But it's still quite a big nod when you, you know you get best female r&b pop artist tyler deserves to be there she's been moving nice in the last few months and with the album having dropped to yeah best male r&b pop artist i don't actually there's burner boy Ooh, what it's kind of weird that burner boy is there because you know but then again you know he could he could pass for the afro pop side of things so that 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 makes sense again from an african perspective i don't really think burner boy would walk away with this one it'll be very challenging to see him do so i'm gonna go with asha again but uh, nice nod for Burner Boy. And Burner Boy has become a permanent feature pretty much in the award circles on the, uh, on the American front. So that's huge. Moving on to best group. I don't expect any African act to be on here. And there isn't any. So ah, I'm not even going to bother <laughs> with predicting that because I don't, I don't know anybody. I don't know too many of these besides like your Maverick City. Uh, yay, Ty Dollar Sign. Look, Maverick City. If they get it, that would be nice. Anyway, let's keep moving. Best collaboration. I don't think there'll be an African act on this one. Uh, it'll be surprising if there is. And there isn't. So that's that. Uh, let's move on to best female hip hop artist. Definitely not expecting an African act on this one. Uh, there's Cardi B, Doja Cat. Well, she's kind of half South African, so maybe we could say that. I really don't know who would take this one. Ice Spice, maybe? Best male hip-hop artist. Again, I don't expect an African act on this one. But this is hilarious because Burner Boy is, the, is on there. And it's, you see, this is what's interesting. It's taking the same theme as the Grammys when uh, um, Burner Boy was um, nominated for his song with uh, 21 Savage. So, you look, if, and again, we have to look at it from the other side too. What Burner Boy has done with his music ever since he did like uh, uh, songs like Last Last, which really resonated with the American public, was he he, he decided to uh, take some of the popular American beats or old American beats, so to say, and, you know, refresh them with a bit of an Afro spin. And to me, this is why he is on this list uh, of best male hip hop artists in many ways. So 
All right, let's keep it moving with a video director of the year. Where does Africa sit? Look, there's Thames on here. Whoa, this is huge. This is absolutely huge. I didn't expect this, but I'm actually going to find out which song or which video this would be for because this is definitely huge. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Actually, who do I think is going to win in this? Uh, look, I'm going to let's go with Thames. Let's go with Thames because, yeah, best new artist. Hmm, interesting. Ira Star. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say this. I'm not surprised that Full Bats is 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 on this list, but Ira Star, come on. And then there's Tyler as well. Ooh, Africa is well represented. Ira Star and Tyler. Between the two, I don't mind whoever wins, but I think Tyler would have the edge just based on having won the Grammy. Uh, so it's almost like a logical flow. And I know that sucks as a as a way of thinking about it. But I think it it always counts because if you've won the Grammy, then they're not really going to overlook you for other things, too. But Ira Star is such a strong contender. So to me, between Tyler, Ira Star and possibly Four Bats, maybe Sexy Red. But yeah, I think Ira Star really deserves to be to be a winner here. So let's see how that goes. Anyway, Dr. Bobby Jones Best Gospel Inspirational Award. And we actually have Thames with me and you. And she's amongst some huge names when it comes to gospel music uh, or inspirational music too. Kirk Franklin, CeCe Winans, Erica Campbell, uh, Maverick City. Oh man. If Kirk Franklin has two nominations here with uh, All Things and Try Love, then in my opinion, Kirk Franklin is probably going to win it. But if Thames walks away with it, I'd be really thrilled. So let's see how that go. Viewer's Choice Award. You see, I actually expected Tyler to be on this one because what Water did was ridiculous ridiculous um in the last uh, uh few months ever since it was released pretty much and then we've got sensational hey chris brown featuring dividu and loje man that's a really cool song i love the video the just everything around it but when chris brown does music videos you know the choreography is gonna be died man it's gonna be died and it's a oof, this is a strong list doja cat lil dirk featuring j cole if you mean <laughs> jack harlow money long victoria monet drake featuring sexy red and scissor uh beyonce texas hold of ah who's gonna take this away from beyonce seriously who is going to take this away from beyonce i don't think anyone can so i think beyonce is gonna walk away with this one but tyler water that was a jam and a half, so watch out. Best international act. I think this is the category that a lot of Africans have been waiting for anyway. Who are the nominees? Yeah. Nigeria. I don't know why they put Africa. For all the African, well, the two or three African nominees, they've put like Africa, 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 instead of naming the African country. Uh, guys, be serious, please. Be very serious. Uh, this is not how you should be doing it. But anyway, let's do it the right way. Ashake, Nigeria. Aya Nakamura, France. Mali. Ira Star, Nigeria. BK, Brazil. Cleo Soul, UK. Mm, good nomination there. Focalistic, South Africa. Carol. I, I don't know if it's uh, Conca, Sonka, Brazil, Ray, UK, mm, really good one. Tia Cola, France, Tyler, South Africa. Oof, oof, oof. I don't know. This is this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. This is tough. This is a tough one. This is a really really tough category. Again, I guess Tyler because of the Grammy nod, but in my opinion. Probably Ira Star, if not Aya Nakamura. Between the three, Aya Nakamura, Ira Star, and uh, Tyler, and probably Clear Soul too. Ah, this is a tough, 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 tough category. But it would be nice to also see, you know, what Brazil has to offer here and what's happening there. So we will see. We shall see. Viewers' choice: Best International Act. Oh, okay. We've got Bella UK, Crystal. Oh, Crystal's on there. 
she got a flow though um duquesa brazil holly g france jingeli france makadzi south africa oh that's so nice man oram brazil shea vibes nigeria oh that's nice tyler i see you south africa Ooh, i don't know y'all i don't know but this is really about i guess galvanizing the fan base and really i think the person that could do that is most likely at least from an african perspective shea vibes i think shea vibes could really galvanize a really good backing behind him so yeah shea vibes outside chance i'd say makadzi but yeah we'll see anyway bet her this is an interesting um award uh, I'm not sure what the rationale is for for it, but we've got Ira Star with Koma 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 O, oh, and she's amongst some fantastic female talents. Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, Flo featuring Missy Elliott, Megan The Stallion, Toria Monet, SZA, uh, Glorilla. Look, Ira Star gotta go with this one, please. Ira Star, take it away. And then best movie. I don't think we have any African movies out here. Not hating, but yeah. And I think that's it for the music side of things, which is pretty cool. Here's what the summary looks like for Africa. South African star Tyler has four nominations at the BET Awards 2024. That's for Best Female R&B Pop Artist, Best New Artist, Viewer's Choice Award, and Best International Act. And then Ira Star with three nominations which is best new artist best international acts and the bet her award and then we've got burner boy with two nominations best male r&b pop artist and best male hip-hop artist thames coming through for nigeria yet again with video director of the year and dr bobby jones best gospel or inspirational award there's Ashake and Focalistic on the Best International Act, so one nomination each for those. And then Viewer's Choice Best New International Act, we also have Makadzi and Shea Vibes. So this is pretty much, oh, and Tyler ICU actually. <laughs> so this is pretty much the Nigeria and South Africa show. I think it's absolutely brilliant that Africa is seeing such representation on platforms such as BET. Not that it hasn't happened before, but I think we're seeing more African names and outside of uh, the traditional categories that are expected to have African names like Best International Act. I would love to see us take something like, say, Burner Boy taking something like... Um, you know, uh, best male hip hop, and then maybe Thames taking um, video director of the year. <laughs> oh man, that would be so great for Nigeria and Africa. Anyway, tell me what do you think as you see that nominee list and um, what Africa is doing on that front? Who do you think is going to win? Let's have a healthy discussion in the comments. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is M. Jomoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace, Dan Dan. Ready to enter.